Well, Miranda, obviously this is going to be fought out in the court of public opinion in, in the next election, in the election next Tuesday. Um, and more and more things are coming out. Um, I think Nelson has been totally discredited, not just because of this act uh, uh, of uh, uh, forging stuff on in her yearbook, but she won't give up the yearbook to have it analyzed. But her own son or stepson has completely called her a liar. So and and then you you look at her her past and and you've got it it raises all kinds of questions. But that, that's not what the people of Alabama are looking at right now. They're, they're looking at Doug Jones, how liberal he is, how he doesn't reflect Alabama values, and, uh, um, and they're, they're making their choice. They, I think they've completely discounted uh, the attacks against Roy Moore some 40 years ago and now surfacing when nothing can be done about it. Yeah, um, of course, we've mentioned this a couple of times here on this program, but CBS did a poll that said 70 percent. This was before this came out, 71 percent to be exact, of voters in Alabama did not believe the accusations against Moore. But just yesterday, House Speaker Paul Ryan said that he still believes Moore should drop out of the race. Uh, this is, again, before this latest announcement. So do you think Nelson's admission will perhaps change his mind or the mind of voters who may be undecided right now? No, I think the, the, the Alabama voters are going to change their minds. Uh, if Roy Moore wins, which most of the polls and certainly the uh, real clear po politics average has him ahead by anywhere from two to six points. So uh, it looks like uh, he's on his way to a victory. And once he wins that seat, these ac accusations are not going to go away. So there'll be more come out and, and uh, Moore will have his opportunity to face uh, his accusers, um, and uh, uh, as as people find out who Roy Moore really is, a man of honesty and integrity. I don't know about what happened 40 years ago, but I know Roy Moore. I've known him for almost 10 years, maybe even 15 years. Uh, he is a man that stands on principle, on con on the Constitution. Uh, he's solid as they come. He's some, he's got a strong faith in Jesus Christ, um, and. To me, that's good enough. Newsmax TV. Watch us on Dish, Direct TV, AT&T UVerse, Verizon FiOS, and or download our free app. Don't have Newsmax TV? Call your local cable provider and request Newsmax today.